Hey, this is Chewy. I'm just going to show you how to use Everybody Edits Animator. Things you will need. EE Animator, WPE Pro, and WPE Selector. I will include a download link in the description box to uh, the programs. And now let's get on to how to use it. So first of all, you want to make your level in EE Animator. For time's sake, I'm just going to create an 8x8 box. Now you want to go to WPE Pro. Oh yeah, if at any time you feel overwhelmed, just pause the video. You can rewind, go back if, I, if you miss something. Anyways, uh, WPE Pro, click Target Program. And if you're using Firefox, I don't know how to do it with uh, any other browsers, but Firefox. Click on PluginContainer.exe and click Open. Now you want to go into your room and uh, click the Play button right here. Now place a brick and delete it and stop. And um, you'll have these things. If um, right here the zeros, if you have more than one line of this, you can just stop because something went wrong. You need to. Uh, what I found out if is if the level is already built on, like it already has blocks, it won't work. You have to have a completely clear level. So yeah, and then right click on the one and uh, click send set send list with the socket ID. And then right click again and click send. And here are the zeros and here are some letters. Copy uh, everything to the right of the zeros. Right click copy. And quit. Now go back to E animator. Go to animation. Change packet export size. And it's defaulted to 2000. Make it 20. And click OK. Now go to export SPT for entire animation. And we'll just name it test. Save. And then block packet from your room hex data. This is the thing you copied earlier. Control V to paste. And click OK. And then your level will be saved. You can exit out of animator. Now go back to WPE Pro. Click send this send tab right here. And click the open file button. And then, uh, it'll default to documents, your documents. Just go to animator and SPTS and then click on the one that you see. Now you'll get these. Um, what you do is go here. With WPE selector, you'll get a configuration settings folder. Just double click on that and open it. Delay, leave at whatever it is. I have mine at five lines. Lines will be how many there is of these, how many numbers there are. So there's 33. So we're going to put 33. File, save. And that's all there is to it. Now, now you double click on that. It'll open up in your test bar here. Uh, and then just click on, uh, go all the way up, click on the first one, and then press F2. And it'll select them all. To stop it, control alt delete. Control alt delete and start task manager and go down to you see WPE selector and process end and it'll be gone. And now all these are selected. Now you're almost there. Click play on that one. Uh, uh, send continuously. Uh, yeah, send continuously. Um, timer, timer is how fast it places the blocks. 100 is too fast, so it'll mess up. I usually keep mine at 300, it's just right. Click play, and then go, and it'll animate. It'll stop when it's done. Go back to WPE Pro. Click, uh, uh, click the red stop button, exit out, and enjoy your pre-made level. This has been Chewy, showing you how to do stuff. Goodbye.